and not work. Chill. But I'm still, I mean, like, I worked earlier, but I'm yeah. like, shoot, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> it's been, like, maybe, God, maybe years. It's been a Girl. long time. To, now that I'm thinking about it, it's been a long time. When did you get back in town? Wednesday. Can you hear me? On Wednesday? Yeah, oh. so now I have, so now, um, I have this residency over at this place called The Pocket. It's almost like the it's almost like the poetic soul. Have, have you guys been yeah, there? Oh, we yes. went to the, oh, we love it. But it's like 50 times better. Oh, really? well, oh my god, it's so dope. Like if you're in LA, if you're ever in LA um, a Tuesday does, night, oh, he does one on Wednesdays in LA. Does he? Thursday nights in LA? Oh, girl. <laughs> I was like I was about to go there. You okay? But it's so, oh my God, it's so good. I'm like, I'm into artsy stuff. Okay, like, I'm gotcha. into, um, you know, poetry and singing and just, oh, like the vibe. Like, I'm an energy person. It's so dope. Okay. It's so, so you're going to be going to LA every week? Well, I'm in LA um, Saturday until Wednesday anyway. So, mm-hmm. oh, I, every I, I week? Every, every week. week. Does the same guy that do the um, poetic so here? Does he go there as well? Or no? I know he was there one time because oh, I saw okay. his picture like a on the weeks ago? on Instagram. I don't know. I have to check. I will check my phone. And oh yeah, that was something different. Know. He was actually performing at that thing. He was he was he was performing. Yes, oh, okay. but he's supposed cool. to be setting up something on Thursday nights. Or I know he like I know he was previously. Okay. I know he had something. But I don't know if it's still if continuous. He's still doing it, gotcha. Yeah, because I used to see posts that they were on their way there, but I haven't okay. seen that in a long okay, time. Okay, gotcha. So maybe it's only maybe during like the summer or something like that. But I know that he was there before. But the pocket, oh my God. It's from 9 until midnight. I cook food. I mean, it's just a dope atmosphere. And it's all ages. It's all races, which is different. Well, I mean, with me being from Brooklyn, it's not different. But living in Phoenix, it's a difference because it's kind of... But yeah. Yeah, this, I mean, you you have the 20-year-olds, you have the 30-year-olds, the 40, you even got 60-year-olds. Oh, wow, And it's really? so, like, that. Like the atmosphere is ridiculous. I've, really? I've, I've never in my life, even in New York, experienced that type of atmosphere okay. before. So it's open mic. It's Fantastic. open mic, okay. yes. It's, it's, it's open mic, but it's more laid back and it's in the lounge. Like, the mm-hmm. venue is dope. They have food. It's just a really dope atmosphere to be around. Okay, cool. Yeah, so if you guys are ever there, you definitely have to check it out. It's really nice. What is it called? It's called The Pocket LA. I wrote it. I wrote it down already. Oh, yeah. (laughs) And and I've been making posts about it, but I'll make some more um, before Tuesday. Okay. So, thank you. As you guys can hear, we have Miss Neek the Chef here with us today. We are podcasting from B Hunt's official grand opening of his store living vintage apparel yes. Yay. Yay. congratulations <laughs> all your success most clothes are dope down there mm-hmm. they're really dope i like it y'all like the outfits yes i did i seen some yep. stuff i like five too down there <laughs> yes it definitely can support <laughs> it is so what have you been up to you know what? Just just chilling. I was trying to have the week off, but my nephew called. So when he <laughs> called, I gotta come running. Mm-hmm. Right. So, but I mean, I, I'm really glad that I came out. The look, I see people coming in, so it, so it looks like the turnout was dope. I'm yes. happy about that. But styling is definitely his passion, and I'm definitely excited that I'm able to be a part of it. Mm-hmm. Right. Man. All right. So what did you cook tonight? You know what? I made, what did I make? Okay, I made um, a chicken salad, crostini. Mm-hmm. Uh, I made um, these little cucumber bites with feta cheese and um, dill and some cream cheese. And then I made the same salad that I made for you guys last oh, time. That's his good. favorite salad. So oh, I made yeah, that is yeah. a really good salad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We missed exactly. out, though. We completely missed out on the food. Did you? Was it, yeah. like, ran through? Yeah, it was almost gone. Yeah. We got down. Oh, wow. I'm, it's a lot of people down there. I don't know how many was down there when you got down there. When I, I left at 7, so it was just, I'm like, okay, so what are we supposed to do? So I didn't know that we were going to be in this area. Because I, okay. I said, how are 100 plus people going to fit in, there, in yeah. this space mm-hmm. and um, he was like no we have the uh, playhouse and mm-hmm. I said okay well I'm going to go over to the playhouse and, <laughs> and play, play. And play. <laughs> we we actually had a photo shoot in here you yes! said, we <laughs> I was having fun. I mean, like, pictures, like, content for okay, social media exactly. is some serious I business. I chuckled to myself. You was like, this is a nice picture, but you look like you're focusing on the picture. Yes. <laughs> because I'm, I'm telling you, picture, t- 
taken as a serious, serious business in our fam. I'm like, no, take that over, do it again. So it's like, you know, I, you can't, like my sister, she's really bad at taking pictures because she focuses too much. I'm like, just don't focus on taking a picture. So I have to talk to her and then I'm snapping so she won't concentrate she's on taking pictures. And then I'll end up close. As soon as they snap, I'll close. My I mouth. am an avid eye closer. People hate taking pictures. I'm like, Nick. Nick, there's no flash. Why are you closing your eyes? <laughs> it's just a thing. It's just, just like, I cannot yeah. explain it. So I'm a horrible picture taker. I do the same but thing. you wouldn't know because no, all the pictures, pictures that I'm. But that's because they got to take them like a hundred times. <laughs> so I'm like, and photographers hate working when they're like, oh God, we like working with you, but we don't want to work with you. <laughs> so it's been plenty of times that my photographer has taken. Uh, removed a head from a, from another picture to put it on another because everything was perfect but my eyes was closed so he's no, like well, I'm going to have to cut and paste this head and put this on the head I'm like oh, you whatever you got to do as long as the end result is dope <laughs> I don't care about anything else exactly that's it make sure my neck is all sutured yeah. in there together I'm okay I'm okay it all together. yes I'm done that's too funny exactly we're going with each other too much I know I love it I though I about the interview already I lo- oh we still are interviewing <laughs> <laughs> hey y'all! <Okay. laughs> just one more quick, uh, just one more quick question. Uh-huh. So, do you have any comments that you want to give to B Hunt and all his success? I do, Brandon. I want to let you know I'm extremely, extremely proud of you. I remember, um, you know, like I, I'm gonna say that I raised Brandon, um, but I, but I remember, you know, growing up, he used to, he's, he's been dressing me since he was able to like walk so put this on like he used to accessorize like my outfits and everything and even right now to this day he still has not stopped so I'm so happy that you followed your passion I'm so happy that you followed your dream congratulations on your store and um whenever you get a minute style me for these future events so I don't have to look for stuff and I'm so proud of you and I love you I have a sweet question. Well, just what do you have coming up before we let you go? Oh my God, I got so many things coming up. Um, I have. Let me think. Oh, we're in San Antonio in mm-hmm. March. I have my book launch, my book signing in New York in April, um, thirteenth, and then I have a new event coming up on April the twenty eighth. Woohoo! Coming back to Phoenix, it's going to be a really dope event. It's going to be called The Open Book. We're going to be talking about how to write a book, if you've already wrote a book, how to maximize your earning potential. Um, we're going to be talking about branding, copyright, and trademarking. It is going to be the ultimate um, business networking mixer, and this is going to be for entrepreneurs who, who really want to take their businesses, their books, and elevate to the next level. Okay, that's awesome. awesome. Yes. Yeah. Any other good news you got for us? Um, I do, but I'm going to save it. Okay. <laughs> I wanted you to save it. Uh, I'm going to save it to the next one. Y'all going to get the premiere on that one. I'm going to save it to the next one. Okay. Cool. <laughs> okay. But we know. We yep. know all. They already know. <laughs> we are family. Hey. Yeah, with hey. us. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. You know what? No, I'm listen. As soon as 9:30 hit, I'm going home. I'm tired. I gotta go to LA tomorrow, so I only stayed here for for this, and I have to be. I have an event tomorrow at one, so literally I have to go like go to bed, and I may not even go to bed. I may just leave when I'm. Somebody's driving you, right? You're not um. But you know what, though? I take a five-hour, and I'm okay. I don't know if my husband's going with me or if my friend's going, but I think my husband's going to go, and he won't let me drive. Okay, good. But literally, I do my best work at night. I just I just can't explain it. Well, you do it. be on that um, phone and that computer at night, too. I'm <laughs> telling you, like, I just create all my content at nighttime, and I only sleep for maybe, like, two or three hours. I call it my nap time. You are well, but and you know what? That's why you're successful. I'm telling you, when I say there's nothing more important than my business right now, there's nothing more important than my business right now, and I have to eat it, live it, breathe it, especially if I'm going to be, you know, consulting and training people on how to grow their businesses. I have to be a living example okay. of everything that they know that they need to do. And, like, this whole success thing is not for the faint of heart. And if you about it, you got to really be about you your business. About you can sleep when you're dead. Yeah. So, yeah. That's, Ooh, so, so that's what I always say. But I like y'all. Look, look. Girl. I, we I wish folks. You were gonna yes. Time. I wish folks could see this. I'm going to have to snapchat this. I love you. 
It's super cute. Like when I said y'all, y'all well, doing, we on the go, girl. We on the you're go. doing amazing with your brand new. Like I like this right here. <laughs> cute. Thank you. Cute. But look, yeah. but 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 my event was the first pop up that y'all did, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So listen. So yeah. y'all heard it here first. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all heard it here first. And just so y'all know, so so just so it won't get confused, Sitting Pretty Podcast is my original <laughs> and my premier media source, okay? So I just want everybody to know that, all right? Okay. Now you know. Exactly. Look, just, look, just so there's no confusion. I love you. And you Yes, definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, where, where, wherever I go, I definitely want want them to be there. So don't see them martini glasses right there, child. Yes, too bad we'll have no martini glasses tonight. I know, and, but I have success in the car for y'all tonight, so don't oh, leave without oh, me getting that. that. And then, okay, you said something and else. And lollipops. Oh, oh, okay. Got it. So come knock on the door before. We- and we are back on the mic. We have a very, very special guest with us here tonight. We have official B Hunt Brandon's mom. How are you doing tonight? Very good, very good. good. Thanks for asking. No problem, no problem. So what do you think about all Brandon's success and his grand opening tonight? Oh, I'm excited for him. I really am excited for him. It's been a long time. He's been really wanting this, so yeah. yeah. And did you see it in Oh, oh my God! Yeah, absolutely. Do you have any early From, stories? Oh my yeah, goodness! Yeah, give us a good early story. <laughs> you like, oh Lord. Oh yes, he has a lot of stories. Let me tell you. Um, I guess I'm the kind of a mom that I never wanted my first my first child. Oh. So um, I could never let him get dirty. Oh. Never let him get dirty. Like gym shoes, you can't go out there and play or anything. Walk your gym shoes off, you know, uh-huh. just everything has to be up uh-huh. tip top, you know. And that's kind of how, how he grew up. You know, it's so funny, he, he told us that same story. Did he really? He said, oh my God. Gary, he said he never, he was always clean. He wouldn't sit down, he didn't want wrinkles in his clothes. I'm telling you, I was real bad. I fought me for all of him, how he is. I'm telling you. Oh, Too funny. Man, that's so awesome. All right, so. Well, I am very, very proud of Brandon. Um, <clears throat> like I said, um, he is very ambitious. Um, he's his, pretty, his, pretty much his own, his own man, pretty much, um, and he just does what he wants to do. Um, and no matter what, he he really. If I say that, well, son, think about doing this. He's like, no, mom, I'm going to do it this way. Oh. So. Uh-huh. You know, I have to just give him all the props, and I'm right. really happy for him um, and his success. Yeah, so, that's yeah. good. <laughs> you seem like a really sweet mom. Aww, thank, you. Yeah. Thank, yeah. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I try to be. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's had nice things in the interview. Oh, thanks. Yeah, nice Were you a lot of Brandon's influence, you would say, to get into could. fashion? Yeah, because yeah, um, you're sassy over I here. Know. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes, you are. My day now. I'm getting kind of old and rusty right now. <laughs> but but yeah, I was really really something else back in uh-huh. my day. Let yeah. me tell you. But yeah, so um, he probably seen a lot of your fashion. He, he did yeah. a lot of my fashion. I took him to all the stores. I took mm-hmm. him to. I mean, we. He was my like he went everywhere I went. Yeah. Seriously, yeah. everywhere I went, shopping. He loves shopping. Cause uh-huh. you, normally boys don't like to shop. Oh yeah, they don't. But this boy would help me. Like, okay, wait a minute, let's go, let's go. He's like, no, let's go in this store right now. So I'm like, okay, but he loved to shop. Oh. Loved to shop, absolutely. Yeah, that's I'm so awesome. proud of him. I really am. And I did the garage sales. I did the I did the whole like Goodwill. Uh-huh. I did the, all of it. So and he liked like, it all. Yes, oh, he liked okay. from my that was expensive. A from expensive all the way to the garage sales. Yeah, yeah that's definitely. Awesome. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. Right. That is it. This is the first. We got his mom. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> we got your mama on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Do you ladies have any more questions? Um, no, I don't. I think that's it. Thank you. For Thank sitting you for with sitting down oh, with us. Thank you, ladies. Thank See, you. it was easy, right? Yeah. yeah. That was, that was easy. Yeah. You'll see more of us. You'll see more. Good. 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 Thank more. you so much. I appreciate it. We are back 
But we have Miss Cassie here with us tonight. She's been on our podcast a few, few, few episodes. Yes, we ran into her. Yes, yes, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. I'm doing great, guys. I'm really happy to see you. You guys know you make me feel comfortable. You guys are my family. So. Oh, thank you. You see in that martini glass and you got happy. Yes. Right here. Oh, man. So what have you been up to since the last podcast? Man, um, just work and actually starting my traveling journey. So that last year I told a friend of mine I want to travel. This year actually happened, so it's gonna keep going. So I'm yeah. excited. Yeah, that's yeah. all I've been doing: work and traveling. So, that's awesome. where's the first place you've been so far this year? Well, out of the country, the first place was Colombia. Okay. Uh, which was amazing. It was wild. If you guys saw my story, my yes. friends are wild. <laughs> um, but before that, uh, probably just LA, usual, because I have family there. Um, out of the country, my first trip was Colombia, which was amazing. I awesome. recommend you guys go there. Just try to try to stay away from the locals because they will try to hustle you so much. They will try to what? Hustle, hustle you. Yeah. Yes. Hustle you. If you don't buy a bottle at the club, you'll you'll get kicked out. I hid the bottle under my dress, mm-hmm. but you know we got. <laughs> Y'all know me. <laughs> okay. You got it in there, huh? Right. Yeah. Brandon Hunt, um, I've met him before at so many fashion shows. I've worked with him um, doing just fashion shows. I've helped with getting him models, um, just anything. You know, you run into a lot of people at fashion shows, whether you've met them before or not, whether you've met them on Instagram, whether, you know, you just run into everybody at shows, at photo shoots, networking events, whatever it is. So that's really what it was between me and him, just shows. And we had met each other on Instagram, you know, like, hey, let's work. But then oh, okay. we ran into each other at a show. Oh. Yo, it's you, you know, you know, we started getting to talking. So I really, like, support everything that he does. Like, from going just um, styling Arizona models to styling celebrities to yeah. launching his own brand and launching his own store. It's, he's, he's doing really good. So yeah. I'm really proud of him. That's yeah, it's awesome. amazing. Do you have any um, comments or words of encouragement that you would like? To Brandon, uh, man, just keep going. Like you know yourself, you're doing it. He knows he's doing it, and the fact that he's doing it just shows everybody else in Arizona that he's you can do it yourself. You know, exactly. like he says, I'm gonna do this, and he goes and does it. And does it. And, like his mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you you peep that. Like you're watching him. So it's like, yo, if he can do it, like why can I do it? Yeah. And it's just not him. It's like so many other like designers and brands and models. So it's like. It's just one after the other. So just watching a local do it, it's it's fucking amazing because yeah. everybody else is right behind him. So yeah. Yeah. It's dope. It's dope. It's dope. Yeah. It's dope. That's cool. oh, man. I love that you guys are here. It makes you me feel me. good. <laughs> Warm and fuzzies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I You're swear, like, I'm right at home, I, huh? Yes, I swear when I saw that shirt, I was like, yo, yes, my girls are here. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Uh, well, you know, you can find me on Instagram at Cassmises, that's C-A-S-S-M-I-S-S-E-S. And on Facebook, just my normal name, Cassandra Morphin. And everywhere else, Cassmises. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we are back on the mic for tonight. We have King Jeannie here with us. How are you doing tonight? Good. All right, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, artists artist from uh, Los Angeles, okay. uh, underground hip hop artist, been doing music from the Bay Area to LA, West Coast, all the way, but uh, universally uh, sound through like East Coast uh, technical, uh, lyrical, you know, content with right. West Coast beats. Oh, you know. awesome. So, how did you get, how long have you been rapping since? You can remember? I've been rapping since I was like uh, 13. 13? About okay. 12, 13. About 13 years old? I'm 40 now. Oh, okay. So, okay, I've been rapping for a minute. long time. A yeah. real lyricist. Right. Yeah, <laughs> really, yeah. Right, yeah, right. I, mean, I grew up on lyrical <laughs> stuff, so right. I'm very, like, you know, which is a good subject as far as nowadays goes. Like, for us, everything being original was important. So, hip hop was about originality. Whenever you sounded like somebody else, they would right. downplay you. Mm-hmm. So, 
it's like good to you know have that topic be brought up. Right. You know? Man. All right. So since we're speaking on lyricism, lyricism, would you mind like spitting us like a quick little bar? <laughs> a quick little bar. Quick little yeah. Bar. Something that you already. It doesn't have to right. be freestyle. Something that you've already written before. Right. right. <clears throat> I say like talking about this universal literature comes to my mind like I'm a Steve speaking to my people like I'm reading scripture, sir. I'm the man that's made sinister, dipping while pimping, smoking, blazing, tripping, trying to be fitted in. Some of these paragraphs getting educated, going to school, falling asleep while sitting in class, telling the teacher to kiss my ass. For the time being, let the time pass. Universal words sounds pretty disturbed. My concentration keep my mind focused on work. All around east, west, north, down south, demons lurk. Listen to the open ears and hear the birds chirp. Rugging, flooding, high water pants, stuck and plugging, jumping over bridges, taking steals, killing just for that last chance. But I'm willing, dealing, sights for seeing famous stars beaming or reading these scriptures. But I'm practicing, preaching, teaching universal literature. You know what I mean? I know you don't have a beat, but it, without a beat, it gives me like a real spoken word. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, so you like said that. lyrics, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm like, exactly. so yeah. it's like riding on the spot. So right. yeah. I'm like, let me just hit it. Right. So I'm, I'm curious, so where did you come up with your name? How did you um, get your name? So uh, King Genie uh, stems from uh, C-N-G-J-N-E, which was my original form of how the pun pronunciation, C-N-G, King, okay. J-N-E, Genie. Mm -hmm. The acronym for it, Citizens Need God, mm -hmm. Jesus Never Ends. Mm -hmm. So it's not to be a, like, a religious thing. I think it was more of a, like an enlightening thing that I had through through time and understanding. Okay. And um, just as far as like your style, you gotta be the king of the genies. You, make, you create things and make things happen. Right. You know, um, being a genie, you can be good and you can be bad. You got the good genie who does good and the bad genie who can cause bad. So my thing is be the genie. The gen, gen is not me. I'd rather be the genie and help people out in okay. succeeding. So okay. that's where the king genie be the king of your style. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, at all, at all costs. So for the CNG, J and E, it was like, how can I pick out the most original format on on creativity for for you know someone to research me? I, I don't really allow too many people. Like you know, I see social media be blown up, so my social media is really tight knit, tight knit, mm -hmm. and I don't really like let folks follow unless I really know them, you okay. know, and that's what's important. It's important to have a tight knit circle, I feel. But C N G J N E is is I'm the only one on the planet and I'm able to like I you know, can say that because I copywrote it. Right. You know okay, what I mean? Gotcha. Trademarked it. I got an R after my name instead of a t instead of the T M I went through the R registration, all that stuff. So my name is my name. Oh that's dope. Yeah. Wow. Um, you know, right now we're in the midst of like finding out what's going on with 420 because that's usually my my time to shine. I always like rocking things in 420. I'd say uh, probably around April 20th I'll have something booming. I can let you know on on the new page, which would be Little G T F O H. You can go there, and that's gonna be where you can like research the new stuff. Um, I'll have something up within the next month. Now that I've been put on the spot. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and, you heard it here first. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put it up there. But I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be either it's gonna be either here in Arizona, or we'll, we're definitely gonna have something right now. I have people asking about California, San Bernardino. Okay. So although, so although you you're from LA, correct? Correct. So how did you get inspired by that, like East Coast vibe? How did that come about? Because the West Coast, East Coast, two different. Right. Vibes. I grew up on Wu Tang Clan. Oh, okay. Man, come on, inspect the deck, Method Man. You know, you God. I was just showing my little brother the other day, like, see, we grew, grew up listening to lyrical lyricists, Mob Deep, Tupac, t to everybody that, you know, Busta Rhymes. It was just about each person had a technical style that was, like, diverse. And the East Coast made you not listen to, if you go back and listen to their stuff now, it's like, you listen to lyrical content and beat behind it, not beat up front and lyrical, like, harmonizing with it. It's like, lyrical up front, and, and, and then their messages were so deep. I mean, it's so cold to see that 
message put into like lyrical format of like what life was and what you go through over like what you think everybody else thinks they want to hear you know what I mean what's important is, is your message that you give to the youth you know what I mean so that's what got me inspired was through the east coast that the lyrical content that they have was just so like you know I, I wanted I wanted to find out more anything that was like challenging because east East Coast put challenge to it. The beat was the West Coast, like we got that slap. But the East Coast gave you that m melodic, you know, intellectual storytelling. storytelling and just telling you about what's going on, you know what I mean? So I had to take that. That's very true. So East Coast over West Coast for you? Uh, no, West. <laughs> 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 no. It's always going to be, I'm always from the West, West Coast, Coast, so I'm always going to, West Coast is the best coast, so I'm always going to rock that, but you know what, it's it's Universal Alliance right. for me, mm -hmm. I'm always from the UA, so mm -hmm. uh, Universal Alliance, me and North, West, uh, South, Down South, all of it together, we all have a different style, different way right. of different approach, we're all equal in it, mm -hmm. and the way that we deliver it is, is going to be funky, right. you know, yes. no matter what, they have a funky style in the East, we got a funky style in the West, down down south, they going cold with it, and in the Midwest. So it's important to give big, big ups because we learn from each other. That's true. Yeah, that's you can't you can't say that no one picks up someone else's music and be like, man, let me just see what this dude's doing real quick. You know what I mean? So it's got to be like honestly equally to everybody, no matter what. I love the West Coast, but it's an equal coast. Okay, for sure. Like that. Good answer. Well, thank you so much. For man, thank you for having me. Yes, no problem. Do you want to shout out where the people? find you um you can find me on the uh you know what just on my soundcloud soundcloud cng jne you can go there check out music I always have stuff up there um you can check me out at uh, king genie if you're looking on the facebook you know depends on real real like i said i'm like always looking at who who's researching me and then uh what on top of that the IG right now is uh, in the works because with the Lil, Lil GTFOH, I've got the new 999 album that's getting ready to rock pretty soon, and that's what I'm dropping under is Lil GTFOH. Lil GT. Patricia. Oh, I was going to ask. Wow. We'll bring some here? Yes. I'm sorry. It's disturbing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> concert going on. Yeah, yeah. Mini concert no, out there. I was going to ask is what actually brought you here tonight. I came here just to check out and support other local artists that are here in Arizona because I, I feel it's important for an artist to always expose itself to other artistry yes. and to support other local artists. And um, it was important to come out and support family as well. Right. So, definitely. Thank you. Oh, okay. What? No, you're good. He said family and looked at her. So. Oh, okay, that's why. Wow. That's why. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Carmina is the one who definitely she pointed. She was like, you know, go in there, talk to them. Mm -hmm. And I was, it was like out of nowhere. She's like, he does artistry stuff. So yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like, you know, for sure I'll come in here and, and rock it. You know what I mean? yeah. Thank you for having me. Thank you for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, we are back from sitting pretty and keeping it real at the Pop Up Podcast for Brandon Hunt's new. Grand opening for Living Vintage Apparel today. We have here with us Nikos, an R and B artist. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing real good. You're doing good. I'm doing real good. I'm doing real good tonight. All right. How y'all doing? We're doing good. Good. Okay. Thank okay. You. okay. Okay. You don't have to be shy. You can yeah. talk loud. I'm gonna sound okay. sexy and things. Okay. Oh get no, 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 no! I'm just trying to be cool. I'm just happy to see all this melanin at the table. Oh, you like know. And I see y'all go queens. Thank you. I'm proud of look. I'm proud of everything that y'all doing. Oh, thank um, you. you know so what I'm saying? Even though we we like you know what I'm saying we just met. Yeah, you know, yeah. so I just want to let y'all know that it's just good to see y'all going and doing what y'all doing. So thank you. Know, you. I just listen, I respect it. We appreciate you. Yeah. So what brought you out here tonight? Um, I just moved here from Detroit, and I've been here probably like um I've been here probably like nine months or probably something like that. So uh, I kind of wanted to come out here and meet like. Like newer, new people, like people that I feel like would be like, like oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, like pretty much doing or going the same way I'm going or doing the same thing. So, right. mm -hmm. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So, what got you into R&B? Um, well, music in general. Well, 
uh, music in general, my mama always played music like on my way to school, on the way back. So I always just wanted like I like like I love to like like pretty much control the crowd. So um, it was kind of like that, and my mama playing music when I was little, like. Like my grandma playing all the soulful things, like all the Isley Brothers and Marvin Gaye and stuff like that, and me coming from Motown, knowing yeah. our history. Oh, there you go. It's just kind of like, uh, it's just, it's just kind of like in the soul. So, yeah. That's awesome. Would you be able to? I don't know if we're gonna put you on the spot, but can you give us a little harmony? Harmonize. <laughs> I wish, I wish I could right now, but I'm a little, you know, I'm a little bit under the influence, okay. so I don't want to like. Yeah. And then I hear this, and I'd be like. Uh, yeah, it's not safe to see other yeah. influence. But you know, you know, y'all can follow me or uh, at Nico's Phoenix. Um, I just uh, pretty much uh, dropped a project last year called Fire, but I have a new project called uh, uh, The Element of Ether. So um, yeah, so uh, I'm I'm sorry that I couldn't sing right now, but I'm a little bit, you know. I mean, I, I had a little rock, so you know, I'm a little, I'm a little, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so coming from. Motown and coming and having all those, I guess you can say, like huge influences in music. Who do you think was like your biggest influence besides them? Um, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson is the GOAT. <laughs> like, like, of like, awesome. of like, anybody who can just like jump on the stage and stand there and people falling out, he did yeah. enough. Like, 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 like that man was on another level. You know, RP to Michael Jackson. Right. I had a question, like, out of, um, like you said, you have a lot of influences. What are your, like, your style is more towards, like, what the, is it your own, or what inspires your style? Um, well, as of late, I've been talking about more things I've been going through, like, um, pretty much with me, uh, with, with me and, like, my relationships, and, like, um, pretty much, like, me, like, growing as a man. Like, uh, I, I, I went vegan last year, um. Just like me leaving my family in Detroit, uh, just just a lot of things, a lot of different things that kind of like it's growing me, but you know what I'm saying, still kind of hurt. So yeah. I'm kind of like like pretty much talking about that and the journey that I want to set, okay. things that I want to do, things that kind of really like affect me as far as want to be better in the community, as far as want to um, like like tell a young man under me that the the stuff out here in these streets is not good. Like just, just, just many different things. So yeah. So how did we find you? Uh, at Nico's Phoenix on everything. Um, I follow back. I oh, definitely okay. follow back. Let me check that. <laughs> I definitely follow back. Um, people take uh, social media too serious. <laughs> I follow back. <laughs> so, yeah, at Nico's Phoenix, everything. Oh, the people that don't want to follow you back home, like, oh, I can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or follow. just like, people, period. Yeah. But, uh, but, yeah, at Nico's Phoenix on everything, and um, Fire on iTunes, Spotify, Tidal, and all that. So, yeah. Okay. yeah Thank you. Yeah. So, before we head out really quickly, how are you liking this transition from Detroit to Phoenix? Oh my God! Uh, no winter, no snow, uh, no six inches of snow outside. I don't have to shovel snow. Um, I can still just wear a hoodie and a jacket, and I'm and I'm and I'm happy. So um, I love Phoenix. It's kind of like it's like it's not slow. The traffic is terrible. <laughs> it's too much for me. Yeah. But um, it's not slow. It's beautiful, um, and it's easy. It's it's somewhere good for me to make music at, and uh, I like the music that I've been making since I got here. And I seen Papa go sunset, and it made me fall in love. Yeah. I love it. Thank y'all for giving me the time. Thank I appreciate you so it. Much. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank y'all. Can you spell your name? Uh, it's it's N I C O S P H O E. And then just yeah. Phoenix. Yep, P H O E N I X. We should know how to spell Phoenix. Right. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, hey, you yeah. know. But you, he going to put a twist people, on it, so. This is it. You know. Yes. Okay, actually. Yes, yes, yes. That's. So we got you, and we will tag you on it when we drop our um, podcast. Thank y'all. Thank, Thank you y'all so much. Y'all so have much. a great night, and uh, be safe, ladies, and make it home safe. All right. Are you performing tonight, too, or no? No. Um, I'm actually just here. Yep. Oh, just yeah, just, yeah, just to okay. meet people. Thank y'all so well, much. I appreciate y'all. All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice meeting you.
All right, we are back on the podcast mic tonight. We have two guests. We have two guests sitting with us at the table. Do you guys want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is JP. I'm uh, the founder, the creator, and the curator of 3050. Uh, it's an accessory line. It's a collection of thoughts, concepts, and accessories. Uh, my boy Drew's here with me. He brought me here to Phoenix, so uh, glad to be here. Oh, Dope. All right. Yeah. So my name is Drew Shaw. I am the founder and lead at VoiceThreads.com. Or, well, VoiceThreads is the name of my company. VoiceThreads.com is <laughs> my website, V-O-Y-C-E. Make sure you spell it right. Um, but my, my company, we are a socially conscious lifestyle brand that brings awareness to important causes through mismatched socks. So we use the um, inspiration of the work of charitable organizations as inspiration for the designs of our socks. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, so you kind of already told me a little bit about how and why you got started. And you know, we're something. overachievers over here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't going with that. Look at you. Look at you. So what inspired your accessory brand? So what inspired it? It actually started when I was 28, okay. and um, it was uh, it was an idea that a friend of mine gave me. He was like, "Yo, you always have cool hats on. You always have cool accessories on. Why not do them? Why, why not do it yourself?" And I was like, mm, "It's not a bad idea." Right. So I started doing it, and um, to be honest with you, I was kind of going through a lot personally, mm-hmm. and um, without going into too much details, um, production kind of slowed down and then it halted. Ironically enough, I turned 30. Um, I went skydiving on my 30th birthday a few months ago. And um, figuratively speaking, I hit the ground hard. I was like, oh, this is 30. And um, the name of the brand had always been 3050, but it kind of really culminated and all started to make sense when I turned 30. And so the relaunch was about two months ago. And um, ever since then, it's kind of been ripping and running and things are going really, really well. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the future. Looking forward Awesome. You got a big smile on your face. When you yeah. He's yeah. happy. He can't <laughs> wait. Oh, so like, uh, two weeks. Oh, oh are you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Have fun. Yeah. Have fun. I want to. I want to follow up with you. See how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. But sure. Yes, yes ma'am. Yeah. Already. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Already. So, where did the fifty come from? Uh, the idea of it is where I see myself in twenty years. Okay. You know, I like to think. I like to think forward. And I like to make it happen now. So, you know. Um, a lot of people that I work with, my parents, my uncles, you know what I mean? They're about 20 years older than me, give or take. And um, it's just a, a certain aspiration. You know what I mean? I'm going to be 50 one day. Right. How do I see my life 20 years from now? That's okay. where it's from. Okay. Cool. How you see it? It's looking real nice, right? I hope so. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you were smiling. Yeah, I'm still smiling. Yeah, he's looking real nice. Smiling. This is my first time in Phoenix, Scottsdale, technically, right? We're in Scottsdale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scottsdale. Mm-hmm. I, I like it out here. Yeah. I really like it. It's, 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 I've been showing them all the nice places. Oh, okay, there you go. We keep all the other places secret until <laughs> yeah. we go here. I'm trying to go there, too. Yeah. I'm trying to go there, too. Yeah. To the bad places. You know what I mean? Scottsdale is hey. a nice part. That's a nice part. <laughs> Listen, I'm from Dallas, Texas. Oh, it's, Dallas, Texas. You know yeah. what I mean? And it's... It's everything, yes. you know what I'm saying? So I want to go see the hood. Take me to the hood. Okay. So I, get, I need perspective. Yeah. You know Let's see, our I mean? black people like, are spread out here. Our hood that bad, though. Yeah. yeah. Too bad. When you think about but Phoenix, the inner city really doesn't exist. He would be like, like no, yeah, this is like, not this a hood. Is, yeah. 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 Believe me. I, I need perspective. I like, I like high level. You know what I mean? I like a good balance. I write about balance. I actually have a, a balance collection um, that targets the seven points of energy in your body. The chakra collection. I don't have them on me right now, but um, I'm all about balance, I'm all about high love, so mm-hmm. I can appreciate the suburbs, I can appreciate the nice house, but I can also appreciate the hood, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Take him to the Legion. Come on. Yeah. Come on, Legion. He's like, oh shit, I don't want to go over there. Don't tell him about that place. Yes. Yes. He was asking me about those places earlier, yes. I was like, um, next trip, first next Friday. trip. Friday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, we went the first night. Friday. Last no, night. but the Legion. Oh, I really. Yeah. No, <laughs> Legion. Listen, no, they Drew, got good music. Listen, now, listen. Drew from Voice Threads is black excellence. Drew, Drew is not gonna take me to the Legion. <laughs> <laughs> Drew is not gonna take no, me to the Legion. Like, like, hey. right. right. There about, it is, right there. I can't even tell you. Yeah, he <laughs> gonna drive. Drew is all about black excellence. Oh, no. Drew is all about black excellence. 
We just had a little interruption on our on our podcast. <laughs> Cassie might have her phone charger, but uh, uh, those yeah. portable charging things. I'll make accessories, so maybe one day we'll get into portable chargers. Yeah. We should put That's a lock on that door. Like a oh, yeah. 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 Right on your bracelet. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> See, good things idea. happen in here. Right? Yeah. Good. All right, so Drew, were, were you the one to wear mismatched socks? I you, am. Were, you Okay, so you inspired your own friend. I did. Why were they mismatched? Because you <laughs> well, couldn't no. find the other one? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, so I, I, my goal is to become a renaissance man. Okay. Um, I don't believe in... Uh, just doing one thing and specializing in that one thing because I think people can get bored and I get bored really easily. So I try to master a lot of different things. And so I actually have a children's book called Rosewood Circle the First Day. And the main character in that book, he wears mismatched socks. And originally when I wrote the book, I was like, hey, you know what? I can make a line of kids' socks that are mismatched and I can sell them in collaboration with the book. There perfect, you go. perfect, perfect idea, right? right? But then I was like, you know, I'm really community focused and I'm a teacher uh, by vocation. I taught elementary school. And um, I was like, hey, I can take this another step. How can I elevate this uh, sock idea and make it more uh, socially impactful? So I um, went through an organization uh, called Seed Spot, and they helped me develop my, my idea and turn it into a social venture. So I took that idea of mismatched socks and paired it with the idea of marketing and telling the stories of charitable organizations that are doing great work right around the corner from us. And so um, last year, or the past two years since I've been an entrepreneur, I have had the ability to go and tour lots of unknown organizations or organizations that just don't get enough uh, awareness around them. And they do tremendous things in our community and people don't know about them. Oh, and so that was with you. Yeah, yes. so that was a lot of fuel behind the inspiration for my for my brand. And so we go I go and tour all these organizations, sit down, hear what story uh, is underneath all the work that they do and I take all that and my lead designer and I we synthesize all that information and make uh, an image story for our socks. And so when I say mismatch socks they they coordinate and they uh, go together, but mm -hmm. they're not the same the design. Oh, and okay. if you go to our website, you can see what each image and the color scheme, what that story is, and why we put it on the socks. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Very awesome. And okay. then also a percentage of the proceeds goes back to the nonprofit. Well. Oh, okay. Okay. That is awesome. Awesome. So you've been able to connect with a lot of nonprofits? Yes, and I think that's the beauty of being an entrepreneur, I'm able to, on a day-to-day -day basis, just go out in the community and meet really amazing people and make mm -hmm. really strong connections and partnerships. And like, so, today. Um, like today. Like <laughs> today, right? Um, and, um, and so I've been able to um, really collaborate with some really amazing organizations that have been around for a long time. Arizona Humane Society, uh -huh. big. Um, Teach for America Phoenix, humongous. Um, and then even smaller organizations like Million Dollar Teacher Project or Arizona Apparel Foundation. Um, and we even partnered up with one uh, for-profit organization that has a lot of social impact. It's called Social Spin. And they have reimagined what laundromats can be and turned them into community spaces. Um, and so we, we are getting ready to launch our second line of socks in a few months. Um, and we're going to branch out to other cities like Chicago and Seattle. Uh, so there's a lot of good stuff coming down in the future. Okay. Black excellence. <laughs> At its finest. Do some pink and green. Do you have a pink and green line? We have a... No. Because I love pink and green. <laughs> we do have pink and we do have green. We don't have them on the same socks though. So... Um, We'll work on it. Just for you, I will. Maybe pink and green. I do right. though. Thirty fifty does. And oh. so, um, and so, I'm a, I'm a captain, and uh, I'm a new. Shout out to Zeta Up, Spring 08, Captain Out South Fraternity Incorporated. Watch out, um, man. So I, um, I recently dropped a line called Divine. Um, that was the first iteration that I that I dropped in um, December, the middle of December. And um, so Divine is a two part collection. It's Divine for the Nine. So divine is inspired by the idea of being divine. The, uh, the definition is to be like, um, aspiring to be um, godlike, um, excellent and delightful, and um, to have magical or perceptive insight to the future. Okay. Um, I decided to pair that with for the nine because you know you have the divine nine, which is uh, the collective nine historically black fraternities and sororities. And so it's a collection of 
a number of accessories. I'm loosely inspired by the Dubai now. So okay. we do have pink, pink and green, green. accessories. Okay. I will be looking yeah. at Joseph. Go take a look I love at pink it. and green. Yeah, for sure. So go take a look at it. Um, you don't have to be Greek to um, wear any of my accessories. Live your best life. Whatever floats your little boat. You know what I'm saying? I got you. Okay, okay so you guys, can you tell everybody where to find you and then also you as well? Of course. So 3050, um, you're going to write it out because y'all know how to spell it. So right. 3050 and then CO. That's the Instagram. And then if you add dot .com, that's the Instagram. Yep. And then Voice Threads, once again, B O Y C E threads.com is where our website is. And another thing about our website, too, is when you go to the product page for each sock, you can donate directly to the nonprofit that oh, we are okay. partnering with. Um, so, voicethreads.com is the website. And then you can find us on all social media, including Pinterest, um, oh, oh, by looking up Voice Threads. Okay. Black excellence. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much. See Absolutely. how the thank universe you works? Yeah. What are you doing? 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 All right. We are back. Sitting sit pretty and keeping it real. You know, we had a great time at Brandon's grand opening of Living Vintage Apparel. We thank you so much for, you know, bringing City pretty, Sitting Pretty out in the community and we got to talk with a lot of great people around Phoenix that are doing things. We just got to meet a lot of new faces. So we thank you so much. The other ladies are going to speak, of course, but we want to thank you so much and we wish you the, the best. Way. The other ladies. No, no, we wish you, the other ladies. No, we wish you the best of luck on your success and the just doing great things and your clothes are so, so dope. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you. Miss Kimmy, we enjoyed ourselves. You had a nice turnout. You're doing your thing. We're proud of you. Thanks for having us. It's T to the E. Thank you for um, bringing us out tonight. We're very proud of you. And we are. It's Spicy T. We had an amazing time. We got to interview some wonderful people that were here to support you. Um, just continue shining. You yes. are beautiful. And I just wish yes. you the best. Yes. Woo-hoo. We out. We out. Y'all think this is a game, but I'm spinning facts. My middle name.